bring them in. As you wish. Right. Mother, we need to see you. Excuse us. Let's see what she has to say about this. What's going on? I apologize for canceling our dinner plans last night. But it's looking unlikely I'll be able to join you tonight either. No, that's fine. We under. It's hardly surprising given the current circumstances. I'm not sure what's keeping you so busy, considering you haven't even managed to fulfill one of your most basic duties. <clears throat> My lady, the miners who work at Saxon are employees of this company. With the Provincial Army barricading the mine and refusing to budge, those miners are at the mercy of the terrorists. I assume you've issued a formal objection to Marquis Rogner? Not on behalf of the company, no. It sounds like Director Heidel Rogner of the First Factory has requested something be done as a formality, but nothing more. That's it? The First Factory has been dumping huge amounts of ore onto the black market for years now. Don't even try and tell me you haven't noticed it. Of course I've noticed. Being unable to bring the first factory in line allowed that to happen, and that's my failure, I admit. But think, if we assume the terrorists aren't acting alone here, what good would it do to issue an objection to Marquis Rogner? Well... There are many possible outcomes to this crisis, and we must be prepared for all of them. For example, we need to consider the possibility that the terrorists may set off an explosive in the mine, and how to respond to that. This is a global company. Measures will need to be put in place to protect stock prices, taking Crossbell into account, too. <clears throat> She's got a point. Anything that affects the Reinford Company is going to indirectly affect a lot of people's lives. Correct. The Reinford Group is its own entity with its own role to fill. The Provincial Army and the RMP are acting in accordance with their purpose, and one might even say the same of the terrorists. Action with a purpose, that's what keeps the world in motion. So tell me, what's your purpose? Uh, I, um... She always makes, makes us like... Well, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, I suggest you leave. I expect the explosion at the military factory is the extent of the damage the terrorists will cause here. I'll give you several additional tasks. I suggest you work on those for the remainder of the day. And considering the situation here, I think it'd be best if you leave Ruhr tomorrow morning. You have my permission as a sitting director on the Academy's board. But... Yeah, she's pretty much kicking us out. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm not going to keep making the same mistakes anymore. Oh? All my life, I've turned a blind eye to what was going on right in front of me. I did it when you drove Grandfather out and took his position as chairman. And I did it when Father died and you let work become your life. All along, you've been working to build the company bigger and bigger, and all along, I just looked the other way. But in our field studies at Thor's, I've seen the imbalances and injustices of the world crop up over and over again. But even with that, I, and all of us, really, have to face that head on. And that's exactly what we've been doing. You asked what our purpose is. After six months at the Academy, that's my answer. <clears throat> well said. Agreed. That's why this time, I don't plan on backing down. 
You, as your daughter, as your family. And above all, as someone who's watched the Reinford Company grow ever since I was a little girl. Mother, you're running this company the wrong way. My lady. <laughs> Can I assume you, in your infinite wisdom, are planning to tell me the correct way to run my company? Naturally. But I still need more experience before I can do that. I promise you, though, that by the time I graduate from the Academy, I'll show you how this company should be run. As someone who just might succeed you as the chairman someday, I should be able to do at least that much. You tell her, Lisa. Oh. <laughs> it's one thing to make a promise. It's quite another to live up to it. Still, at least you're starting to see the bigger picture. Mother. Give it to her, Sharon. Certainly. Hmm. Here, my lady. Card. What's this? Some kind of key card? Correct. It opens the door to a passage that connects Ruhr City to the Iron Mine. Wait! There's really a secret passage? The former chairman built it for use in case of an emergency. You'll find the entrance in the underground part of a maintenance room on the upper level of the city. <sighs> if we use that passage... We should be able to completely avoid having to deal with the Provincial Army. I'm not going to say thanks. Right now, I just believe this is the best way to press forward. And I'm going to tell you why through actions, not words. Excuse us, Madam Chairman. We've learned a lot during our field studies, and we'll put it all to use to come out on top. You don't need to worry about us. They've grown a lot in the last six months. It's been a pleasure to watch them. Surely it wouldn't hurt to acknowledge that Lady Elisa has grown too. She's still got a ways to go. If she wants to take the mantle of the Reinford Company from me, she'll have to show me she's got what it takes. <laughs> anyway, it seems all our principal players have assembled. Can I ask you to do one more thing for me? Certainly. Oh, she got her better uh, S-Craft move. Judgment arrow. Can we have Angelica in the party? I really would like a martial artist type of character. I really enjoyed the one we got we had uh, back back in a uh, FC. He was awesome. Strong, nice, heavy hitter too. Who would have thought there'd be an underground passage going all the way from Lord to the mine? Gwyn really does think of everything. Oh, you know Elisa's grandfather? I heard you took out along famously back when he was living in Aurora. He taught me all kinds of great stuff, how to pick up girls, the best spots in the ent entertainment district. You know, the really important things in life. <laughs> it's not that I can't believe it, it's that I can too easily. 
I can only hope to sit and learn at the feet of the master one day. So it's probably thanks to him that Angie doesn't get any farther off the rails than she she did. Can't deny that. It's nothing to laugh about. I wonder if we'll, I wonder if we'll seem as colorful to the first years when we're second years. <laughs> Do you think this is gonna work? Oh oh oh! He got a laptop. All right, that should do it. What is this thing? An orbital wave an antenna? It's currently in development at the Institute of Technology, but I managed to convince them to let me borrow it. It emits directional orbital waves to widen the area where you can transmit and receive signals. That means you'll be able to use your Argus unit's communication functionality, even down here. That sounds pretty handy. You can do that? Yep, Toa's busy gathering information on what's going on across the Empire right now, and I'll be able to pass that info along to you while overseeing this operation. But if things get too dangerous, I'll give you the orders to pull out, so make sure you keep the line open. Got it. It'll be nice to have some support. Well, if George is just a call away, we've got nothing to worry about. Okay, I think it's about time we get going. And thanks again, everyone, for coming along. I've got my Arcus on me, so I should be able to hold my own in battle. Yay, she's in a fight with us. Cool. I know who I'm replacing. Your knowledge of the mine will be really invaluable. I'm looking forward to seeing you clean up with those Taito skills of, Taito skills of yours. Yay. Yay. Damn, she's old 61. That's awesome. Alright, you get out. There you go. Jalaka. That's what I'm talking about, Platinum Fist. Ah, I love Taito Fighters. Uh, right. Let's go. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't really need to use that, right? Yeah. Hopefully by the time we get out of here, we'll be level 60. At least. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, it's a weird old guy. Sorry, you're really not my type. I can do this. Dragon kick. <laughs> I'm not I'm holding not back, back, this back this time. Gosh, I'm not the party. She's so it's cool. Time. Dragon kick. I live life my way. That's all there is to it. <sighs> That's the perfect way. 